Hello children, we are going to see the first chapter of class 4 mathematics number systems. Number systems. Children, what are numbers? Values expressed in digits are called numbers. Example, any numbers you can say 25, 369, 4500. Let us recall what you have studied in our class 3. Consider the statements. I have scored 90 marks in max. I have scored 19 marks in max. What is the difference between 90 and NA in ETY? Yes, children. 90 is the value expressed in number, which is numeral, and NA in ETY is the value expressed in words, which is the number name. Let us see in detail about numeral and number name. Numerals are Numbers expressed in symbols of figures, example 2678, which is 2678. Number names are numbers expressed in words, numbers written in words. So, the number name for the above numeral is 2678. Let us see writing numerals and number names using abacus. Let us consider abacus with four places, ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. Each place has few beats on it. Now tell me how many beats are there under ones? Five, tens, it's four, hundreds, two and thousands, three. And these ones, tens, hundreds, thousands are called places. Now we are going to write the numeral three, two, four, five as 3, 245, which is 3245. 3,245. And the number name for the above numeral is 3245. Using this, we are going to write the expansion for the above numeral. Now tell me how many thousands are there? 3000 plus how many hundreds? 200 plus 4 tens is nothing but 40 and 5 ones which is 3000 plus 200 plus 40 and plus 5. This is the expansion form of the above numeral. Let us see problem set 1 from your textbook writing the numerals and number names. Children under every problem set there will be three parts. C part, try part and apply part. C parts are worked out examples for your references. And try part are few simple sums for you to work it out on your own. And I'm going to do a sum from apply part. I'm going to do fourth sum. Consider this abacus with four places. Count and write the beats under each place. So under one, how many beats are there? Three, tens, it's two, hundreds, four. And thousands with seven. Now seven, four, two, three, we got. Now how will we write the numeral for the above one? So it is seven, comma, four, two, three, which is seven thousand four hundred and twenty-three. So how are we going to write the number name for the above numeral? Which is seven thousand four hundred twenty-three. So likewise, try the remaining sums in your textbook, children. Let us recall few more from your class 3. What is the smallest one digit number? Yeah, it's 1. And the greatest one digit number is 9. If you add 1 to this 9, you will get 10, which is nothing but what? Your smallest two digit number, 10. And what is the greatest two digit number? 99. And again, when you add 1 to it, you will get 100, which is nothing but smallest three digit number, which is 100. Tell me the greatest three digit number children. Yeah, it's 999. Again, when you add one to it, you will get 1000. How many digits are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. It has four digits. So it is a smallest four digit number, 1000. The greatest four digit number is 9999. Children, in your class 3, you have studied up to four digit number which is 9999. So what is the number beyond 9999? 
when you add 1 to 9999 which is the greatest four digit number you will get 10000 and it is nothing but the smallest five digit number how will we read this number 10000 now what is the greatest five digit number then yeah it is 99999 we'll read as 99,999. When you add 1 to this 99,999, you will get 1 lakh, which is nothing but the smallest six digit number. And we will read as 1 lakh. Let us see a few examples with bigger number 48,625, which is 5,32,987 Indian Place Value Chart Indian Place Value Chart is used to read and write the large numbers. In this chart, we are going to see up to 7 places which is 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s, 10,000s, lakh and 10 lakh. These places are grouped into periods. From right to left, first three places are grouped under ones, like ones, tens, hundreds are grouped under ones, and next two places, thousands and ten thousands are grouped under thousands period, and lakh and ten lakh are grouped under lakhs period. We put a comma after every period to separate the periods, which helps us to read and write the large numbers easily. To read large numbers using the chart, let us consider a chart. We have a number 69346. We are going to arrange this number in the chart. Now, so look at the number from right to left, arrange the number in the chart. So, what is the number in one's place? 6. The number in tens place is 4. Hundreds place 3, thousands place 9, and 10,000 place 6. Do you have any other number after that? No. So, no number in lakh and no number in 10 lakh. So, we got 6 10 thousands, 9 thousands, 3 hundreds, 4 tens, and 6 ones, which is nothing but 69,346. 4 tens is nothing but 40, 46. Now, how are we going to mark the comma? As you have seen in our previous slide, we are going to mark the comma based on the period. So, from right to left, first three places are comma, next two places are comma, and next two places are comma. So, now, first three places are 6, 4, 3. So, we have to mark a comma between 9 and 3. And after the two places, then after that, we don't have any other number. So, we leave it as it is. So, the number is 69,346, which is 69,346. So, you mark the comma between 9 and 3, which is from the right to left, 3 places, 1, 2, 3, 1, stins, hundreds, a comma, then 1,000 and 10,000. Let us see one more example. 809725. It is a 6-digit number. And we are going to arrange the number in the table according to their place values starting from the right to left. Now, how many ones are there? Five ones, two tens, seven hundreds, nine thousand. Look at here, there's a zero here. So, we we'll leave this place? No, we have to write zero, zero ten thousands and eight lakh. Any other number after that? No. So, Leave 10 lakh blank. So now we got 8 lakh. 0, 10,000 is nothing but 0 itself. 9,725, which is 8 lakh 9,725. Now we have to mark the comma according to the periods. So what is the condition? Based on the period, we are marking the comma. What is the first period from the right to left? One period. How many places we have to leave? Three places, seven, two, five, three numbers, 
so there will be a comma between 9 and 7 then after that we have to leave two places just thousands period so 1000 and 10000 leave it a mark a comma then two places now how are we going to write this number 8 comma 09 comma 725 which is 8 lakh 9725 understood children let us do problem set to write the numerals write the numerals means we are going to convert the number name into numbers writing the numbers according to the given number name so i'm going to do the apply part for some question is 3 lakh 22832 before proceeding in solving the sum find out the highest place in the given number name so which is 3 lakh so lakh from lakhs to ones first write down the places ones tens hundreds thousands ten thousands lakh why are we writing these places means it will help us to not to leave any digits or the places in between the given number name so how many lakhs are there 3 lakh 22,000 is nothing but 20 plus 2 which is 2 10,000 and 2,000 800 so how many hundreds are there 800 32 30 means 3 tens and 2 ones so we have found the numbers according to its places now we are going to write the numeral so the answer is 3 comma 22 comma 832 which is 3 lakh 22832 children again once again i'll repeat it how to mark the comma based on the periods so from starting from right to left first three places ones tens hundreds a comma next two places two one two a comma then three so we have to group it according to the periods and mark the comma so 832 will come under ones place 2, 2, 22 will come under thousands place and 3 will come under lakhs place. So 3, 22, 832 which is 3 lakh 22,832. Likewise, you try the remaining sums under the supply part. Next, we are going to see problem set 3. Write the number names. We are going to write the number names for the given numeral. I am going to do the apply part. Fourth sum. The given number is 5, 9, 7, 2, 3, 2. Children, whenever you get a number, just check from right to left. Go from right to left. So, first three places, 1s, 10s, 100s, 2, 3, 2 will come under 1s place, I mean 1s period. Then 7 and 9, 97. 7 will become under thousands and 9 will come under 10,000. So, 97 thousands. These two will come under thousands period. After that, it is lakh. So, 5 will come under lakhs period. Now, how many lakhs are there? 5 lakhs, 97,232. So, how are we going to read this number? 5 lakh, 97,232. So, it is easy for us to write in words now. 5,97,232. This is the number name for the given numeral. Likewise, you try the remaining sum in the textbook. Next, we are going to see place values of the digit. Place value of a digit is nothing but product of the digit and the value of the place it occupies. I will repeat the digit into value of the place it occupies. Example, let us see the example. First one, 6739. I have written the places on top of it, each place of top of it. So, how many ones are there? 9 ones, 3 tens, 7 hundreds, and 6000. So, to find the place value of each digit, what are they asking us to do is multiply the digit into the place it stands. So, 
9 stands in one's place. So the place value of 9 is 9. Why? Because 9 into 1 is 9. Now let us see 3. What is the place value of 3? As per the above definition, 3 into value of the place it occupies is 10. 3 into 10, 13. Moving on to 7. 7 stands under 100. So the place value is 7 into 100, 700. And next is 6. 6 stands under 1000th place. So the place value is 6 into 1000, 6000. Understood children? So place value of a digit is the digit into value of the place it occupies. Where the number stands. Next see the another example. 7980567098056 now i've written the places on top of it so uh, number in ones place is 6 number in tens place is 5 number in hundreds place is 0 thousands is 8 10000 is 9 and lakh is 7 now let us see the place value of 6 here 6 into in which place it stands 1 6 into 1 6. Moving on to the next number 5. 5 into what is the place it stands? 10. 5 into 10, 50. So the place value is 50. Moving on to 0. 0 is the digit over there into the place it occupies is 100. 0 into 100 gives you 0. Yes, children. Place value of 0 is always 0. Keep that in your mind. Next number is 8. The place it occupies is 1000. So 8 into 1000, 8000. And next is the number 9. 9 and the place it occupies is 10,000. So 9 into 10,000 is 90,000. And 7, it stands under lakhs. So 7 into lakhs, 7 lakhs. So this is how we are going to find the place value of the digits. I repeat, place value of a digit is nothing but the digit into the place the number stands. Let us see problem set 4. Write the place values of the digits. I am going to do the apply part, third sum. So the given sum is 6, 7, 2, 9, 1, 3, which is 6 lakhs, 72,913. Before proceeding it, we have to write the places on top of it, which will help us to do the multiplication and write the place value accordingly. So, I am going to write the places on top of it. So, number under 1's place will be 3, 10's place is 1, 100's place is 9, 1000's is 2, 10,000 is 7, lakh is 6. I repeat, place value of any digit is nothing but the product of the multiplication between the digit and the place it stands. Now, let us see the place value of 3. The place it stands is 1, so 3 into 1, 3. Moving on to the next number, 1. The place it stands is 10, so 1 into 10 is 10. And the next number is 9, which stands under 100. So 9 into 100, the place value of 9 is 900. Next number is 2, which stands under 1000. So the place value of 2 here is 2 into 1000, 2000. Next number is 7. It stands under 10,000. So 7 into 10,000, the place value of 7 is 70,000. Now 6 stands under lakh. Therefore, the place value of 6 is 6 lakh. So this is how you have to find the place value of the digits. Try to do remaining sums like this children. Hope you have understood it. Thank you children. See you in the next part.